Over the last hundred years, there have been some big changes in the Earth's climate. The average temperature of the Earth has gone up by almost one degree Celsius. This may not sound like much, but in some areas, the temperature has gone up even more, and scientists think that this global warming will have a major effect on us all. The Arctic is the huge region at the very top of our planet. It is bigger than Europe, and it is completely covered in ice, over 16 million square kilometers of frozen water. But this is changing. The average temperature in the Arctic has increased by three degrees over the last hundred years, and a lot of the ice is melting. In fact, about half a million square kilometers of ice is melting into the sea every 10 years. It isn't only the ice in the Arctic that is melting. In many mountain ranges all over the world, there are very large areas of slowly moving ice called glaciers. These glaciers are also melting, and with so much extra water coming from the mountains, plus all of the melted ice from the Arctic and also Antarctica in the south, the level of the sea is rising all over the planet. Over the last hundred years, global sea levels have risen by 19 centimetres. This is very bad news for a country like the Maldives, a collection of beautiful islands in the Indian Ocean. Most of the islands are only a metre above sea level at their highest natural point. People live on over 200 small islands in the Maldives. These people may lose their homes if the sea level continues to rise at the present rate. The beautiful coral reefs around the Maldives are also in danger as a result of global warming. As the global temperature has risen, the oceans have also become warmer. Just a slight change in the temperature of the sea may cause coral reefs to grow more slowly and even begin to die. The coral reefs are a popular tourist attraction. Without them, fewer people will visit the Maldives, and this could be very bad for the country's economy. Global warming might also have an effect on the weather. Warmer temperatures can cause more water from the oceans to rise up into the atmosphere as water vapour. Scientists think that this extra water vapour could cause storms to become much stronger. Some very strong storms turn into hurricanes, and these can cause a huge amount of devastation when they hit land. Stronger storms and more powerful hurricanes mean even more rainfall for some areas, and this could result in more floods. While scientists think that the regions that already have a lot of rainfall will get even wetter, other places, which don't usually have much rain, could become even drier. Water vapour also rises up from the land, and the ground in some areas could lose too much moisture because of global warming. If a dry region loses a lot of moisture and it does not have any rain for a long time, plants cannot grow and the people and the animals that live there suffer. A long period of dry weather like this is called a drought and scientists are worried that rising temperatures could cause droughts to become more common. What can we do about these changes in the weather? Many scientists believe that global warming is caused by too much carbon in the atmosphere, the result of using oil, gas and coal for energy. Governments and international organisations like the United Nations are trying to find ways that we can cut down on the amount of carbon that is released into the atmosphere. And this is something that we can all help to achieve. Dr. Mohamed Ali works for the Maldives Ministry for the Environment. And we all have to work together. 
We all have a role in this. We all have a stake. We are all in this. And let's all work together.